Hey, welcome to the book bar. I'm Anne Jeanette Barr, and I'm hiding in my room for a few minutes in a corner here <laughs> to show you, to give you a quick review of a poster that my husband bought me a couple of years ago that is uh, one of those scratch off posters for reading, and uh, they, they sell them for like travel and other fun things too. So, this one in particular uh, has 100 books on it, and I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. And as you can see, I have not read too many of them, 26 of them to be exact, and I'm not making it a goal this year to read through that poster. Um, I did make a video about my 2021 goal, so make sure you watch that. But I did get to scratch one off already this year, which was Rebecca. And you can find the review of that book uh, also here on my channel. So I just wanted to walk through which books are on this poster. And I also wanted to mention that there are multiple varieties of this poster. So um, I, I have a friend who, who gave me the idea. I inspired my husband to purchase this for me, you know, by sending him the link. And she has a, sub, a different one. This is just the one that I found that I like the look of. So if the books on this one don't appeal to you, I'll leave a link in the description box for the one that my friend has. And maybe that one will be a better fit. So this um, particular poster is Been There, Done That, 100 Epic Reads of a Lifetime. And they give you some stickers so that you can do star ratings. And then when you're done, you can um, uh, choose which ones are your best. These stickers have gone, have been, are a little worse for the wear um, because they've been folded uh, for a year now. So I should have kept better care of them. And then the poster itself had, some, had a really cool wooden hanger that came with it. And the adhesive fell off kind of in the middle of the night after about a year and crashed onto the floor and I just decided to stick this on with um, with command strips. Uh, I'm sure that I could have gotten more adhesive for the wooden frame, but I didn't. So that's um, just an FYI, it's still worth it and I, I liked the look of the wooden top and bottom frames, but they're not there anymore. So just starting from the top row, this is what I've read so far in my life up to 2021. Some of these it's been quite a while, like this first one. So The Alchemist I read maybe, oh, 14, 13 years ago, I'm not sure. So it's been a long time, but I don't want to reread it anytime soon, and so I scratched it off. So I'm just going to read to you the titles here as we go across. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, sorry about my dog barking in the background, The Life of Pi. The Fault in Our Stars, To Kill a Mockingbird, which I think I read two years ago and is now one of my all-time favorites, five stars, Moby Dick, The Catcher in the Rye, The Great Gatsby. I'm, <laughs> I gave it three stars. I read that in high school and I hated it. I should reread it, but I'm not going to try and reread it until I feel like it, so I scratched it off. The Da Vinci Code, um, The Little Prince. I know some of you guys are going to be like, what? What are you doing? Three and a half stars. Um, I found it kind of depressing and morbid, but I might have been like pregnant at the time. I'm not sure. Um, I listened to it on audio and I remember be thinking, why? What did I get myself into? So going down Charlotte's Web and then there were none. Um, I actually own that and plan to read it this year if I can. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, The Secret Garden, which I am rereading this year, but I um, already scratched it off and gave it no stars. I need to give it some stars. Hmm. Oh, no, I did right there. <laughs> Five stars. Frankenstein, Old Man in the Sea, Count of Monte Cristo, which I do own. Actually, I think I own Frankenstein as well. Clockwork Orange, The Hunger Games, Handmaid's Tale, Pride and Prejudice. I know, gasp. I own it. I'll read it. I just, I've seen the movie and it's hard for me to read something when I know the ending. Don Quixote, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I've read parts of. Same with The Christmas Carol, The Kite Runner, The Road, by Cormac McCarthy. Sorry, I had to get closer. The Giver, Dracula, and Green Gables. Again, I've read parts of it and I've seen the movie. I will get to it. Things Fall Apart, Fahrenheit 451, Lord of the Rings, I'm rereading currently, Midnight's Children, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, The Time Traveler's Wife, um, Phantom Tollbooth, Grapes of Wrath, The Book Thief, The Golden Compass of Mice and Men, 
Lord of the Flies, Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Oliver Twist, which I am currently reading with my son, The Color Purple, Gone with the Wind, Little Women, which I read last year, Romeo and Juliet, which I read multiple times, Hamlet, which we read last year, but it was not my first time, Tale of Two Cities, Ulysses, On the Road, and that one is Jack Karak, so I don't actually know how to say his last name. You guys tell me. And that's why I had to read the other one, because I get On the Road and The Road mixed up. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Crime and Punishment, and The Brothers Karamazov. I have both of those. Those are Dostoyevsky books, and uh, I have them on audio, so I do hope to get through them soon. Poison with Bible, The Odyssey, 1984, The Shadow of the Wind, Wuthering Heights, The Help, Great Expectations, Beloved, Beloved is on my list for this year, Outlander, Animal Farm, David Copperfield, Emma, The Stand, um, Chronicles of Narnia, also currently rereading those, Lolita, Cutting for Stone, Abraham, Verghese. Honestly, I have not even ever heard of that. Tell me if you've read it. Never Let Me Go, which is an Ishiguro book. Game of Thrones. Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. Brave New World. The Princess Bride. I have read parts of The Princess Bride, but I definitely want to reread the whole thing. And I do own that. Jane Eyre, one of my very top uh, favorites, probably top five. Dune, Rebecca, which I read this year, yay, and there's a full review of that. Memoirs of the Geisha, which I have read part of, actually, while I was in Japan, and then I put it down, and I just need to pick it back up. The Hobbit, um, Portnoy's Complaint, I have never read that, and I don't even know what it's about. The Sun Also Rises, 100 Years of Solitude, Wrinkle in Time, Love in the Time of Cholera, In Cold Blood, Water for Elephants, which I own and have on my soon-to-read list, Atonement, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, The Bell Jar, Slaughterhouse Five, Suitable Boy, A Suitable Boy, right? Um, a Prayer for Owen, Owen Meany, which I do own, Catch-22, War and Peace, The Five People You Meet in Heaven, Anna Karenina, Ender's Game, and Far From the Maddening Crowd. So when you read these, they gave you a little, looks like a guitar pick, and you just scratch it off and it's super fun. And then you can put your sticker and your rating. So like I said, some of the posters I've seen have different titles, and I just think it's a really fun idea to have some goals. And I know one of my friends is kind of going row by row, so that's a really cool idea. If you're looking for something to motivate you to read more or to read some specifics like classics, so um, yeah, tell me if you have this poster and if you've read some of these books that I haven't, you can't believe I haven't read them or you totally disagree with my star rating. And I'll put the link to this down below. Um, I'm not an affiliate for the company or anything. I just wanted to show you something fun that I'm looking forward to doing. And maybe in 2022, I'll make it a goal to scratch everything off. That would be a pretty epic book goal for the year, but I think I wanna get through a few more before I give myself something that's such a task. I know some of these are quite long, so. And they're not all books that I would pick up. Um, like, I would not probably pick up Game of Thrones, and there's probably quite a few others that I I just wouldn't gravitate um, toward, and so being forced to is really kind of fun, and I like the fact that I'll have a reason to read those that I wouldn't normally be um, interested in, but again, I don't want to just give myself tons and tons of those all in one year, so I'm not doing it this year, but maybe next year. So thanks for coming to the book bar. Tell me in the comments what you're reading and what's in your cup.